God is, uh, is doing a new thing in the church. What I'm learning is that if God's taking the head into a new place, a new direction, He's doing the same thing with the church. And so I need to let you know what God is doing. And so that way we all can be on the same page. You know, I would hate to uh, go to the church and not have my, my arm and my, my leg with me. I want to make sure my leg and my arm is connected. Uh, I would hate to show up and not have my eyes and not be able to see. Or I would leave my mouth and then I'd be here to talk and nothing would happen. And so the body is supposed to move and flow together. And so we all have to move together. And so when you feel like you want to be isolated or by yourself or get alone, you got to realize that the body would be deformed without you. And so we all are important and we all move one. And we have to do our part. And when we walk, there's more there than just your legs. There's also the skeletal part of your body, muscular. There's the foot. And there's all the other parts that make the legs work. But the legs ain't going to do nothing without a head. And sometimes we have to get instruction. Not saying I'm the head because the one that's over me is the Lord. And so if he's over me and he gives me the rest of the instruction, then I'll pass it to the body and the body all work together. Now sometimes the body won't work like it's supposed to. But then what we're supposed to do is pray for the whole body that we all be whole and be one. Christ said, I pray that they be one, even as you and I, Father, are one. And that's what we have to do. We have to be one. Um, well, the subject I am on today, of the topic, is the word Lord. And so the, the question today is, who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? We say that that Christ is our Lord. We say that Father God is our Lord. We're being governed by Him and following His directions and His instructions. But are we truly have, do we truly have Him as our Lord, as our King, as our Savior? As a Savior, He was there, of course, to save you from yourself, to save you from hell, and be able to give you not just a life, but an abundance of life. But, yes, He saved you. The name Jesus, what does that mean? That means Savior. But is he your Lord? Let's go to uh, go to Matthew. Matthew 7, 22 and 7, 23. It says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in your name have cast out devils, and in your name done many wonderful works. And then I will, will profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Oh, wait a minute. You, you must be reading out of a different Bible because if you're going to prophesy, it's got to be the Lord if you're prophesying. Um, if you're going to be casting out demons, then it's got to be the Lord in that, right? And so, you know, wonders and signs and all the stuff that us church folks, we do. And you know, we, we get proud too. We we'll say, talk about it I, I, I cast out about three demons yesterday. Hallelujah. Praise mm, the Lord. Mm, you know, I, I did that the other day. I, I, I prophesied all day long. Mm. I prophesied in his name. And so, surely, you got to you gotta have some of this wrong. Everywhere I go, wonders and signs follow me. What you say? So, you know, I, I know I got it going on. So, when I get up to heaven, and me, Jesus, we gonna give each other a high five because we got it going on together. But what did he say on that little last part? He said, and then I declare to them. That means it wasn't just that one person, was it? I never knew you wow. apart from me. Wow. So sometimes we get all pumped up in pride and we just try, we think we got a hundred to show them we got all of that stuff down. I'm spiritual and I know it. I know who I am in the Lord. But is he really your Lord? Because if he's your Lord, then you will follow his directions, his instructions. You will be obedient if he's your Lord. He will be the thing that you focus on more than anything else in your life. Your what mind you will say, I'm going to please him no matter what. Even if it takes my very life, I'm going to give it because he's my Lord. That's what Lord means. 